year starter at Stanford. You know, I played receiver my first two years and then played corner these last two. You know, I just played in the senior bowl. I had, you know, had a good time, you know, and just got to give a lot of thanks to Ron and Hen, you know, for getting my footwork right, you know, for staying on me. You know, all the time you got to stay in the books, but you got to stay on this on this field too. You got to stay getting the work in. You can't never stop. You got to work harder than everybody else. Y'all here working somebody in their bed right now, sleep, playing Call of Duty while y'all working. It's, that's what that's what it got to be all the time. You got to be working harder than the next man. I got a, I got a question. If there was anything you could have did different looking back on your high school career that you know now, what would it be tough for you to do? What would you have done different in terms of your approach to the game? Uh, just work on more than little things, like as far as like footwork, like hand placement, all y'all DB. So like it's it's still good to have very good, be good with your hands. You know what I'm saying? Get on the jam, keep your feet moving. Um, I feel like if I have more coaching on a little thing, it is just helping. Like so far since I've been in LA, I mean he's been helping me with all the little things, my footwork, hand placement, hips, like just exploding, keeping your shoulders and your toes, things like that. And that like, I didn't have that help in high school. Go back now and have that same mentality. I mean, the sky's the limit. So definitely, like, I, I definitely like tell y'all like to listen to what you're saying because it helps. Like, even in my stage right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm past y'all right now, but y'all, you know what I'm saying? It, it's definitely like for y'all to be in my situation. Like this. So listen, like, the little things help. I'm telling y'all, they really do. This thing I would work on is, you know, just being disciplined. You know, being a disciplined football player. He's telling you to keep your eyes on the top shoulder, keep your eyes on the top shoulder. Just be learning discipline now, learning how to be a disciplined football player right now will help you in college. Because you go to college and you think you can just go out there and freestyle, you know what I'm saying, free. Just go out there and do your own thing. You might be able to get away with it in high school. You can dominate doing your own thing in high school. You get to college, you won't ever see the field. And you wonder why some of these five stars are sitting on the bench for four years and then, you know, transferring and doing all this other stuff because you got to be disciplined. If, if a coach says you have to pedal for seven yards and then break on the route, or you have to pedal, stay in your pedal, and let him break your cushion, then stay in your pedal and let him break your cushion. You have to you have to stay on the details. When Ron tells you to, to keep an eye on the top shoulder the whole time and don't look back for the ball, don't look back for the ball. Because in college, you won't never see the field if you're a corner and you're looking back for the ball and the receiver faster. Because they're going to be scoring touchdowns on you. And you can't, you, you're not helping the team. So, discipline. Anybody got any questions? Any questions? Right. Just, just, just so y'all know, these cats is getting ready for the uh, NFL draft right now. They doing some training that's specifically for the league. So just like y'all preparing for college, these cats are not preparing for the next level. So <coughs> y'all got any questions? These two two brothers with some serious experience, Big Ten and Pac Ten. Feel feel free to shoot it. Y'all good? All right. All right. Twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty one. What forward just can y'all do at home? We, we, to tell you the truth, the same stuff y'all been doing. Yeah. The same stuff y'all doing right now is the stuff we do. You know, we just do it a little quicker, a little more explosive, you know, because we're older and, you know, we got the grown man strength right now, so it's obviously a little different. But the, the drills you're doing right now are perfect. It's exactly what you're going to be doing in college. You know, the drills they have you doing is what college coaches have us doing. You know, day in, day out. You got to perfect it, though. You got to be a technician with your footwork. If you're a technician with your footwork, scouts will drool over you and be in college. Today. Yeah. The only difference from, from high school and college and the next level is the speed. Everything is fast, fast, fast. So the better you get it, get it right now, before you get to the next level, you'll be much much better the next person that come in with you. All right, all right. Uh, Y'all need to get water? Y'all ready to go, go to the next group? Go again, group? go again. Let's take water break right now. We just took it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. All right. That's, That's cool. cool. That's cool.